What's happening guys, it's Rez and I am back again with y'all on my channel for another sneaker pickup video. Welcome back guys. So in today's video, I have a new Air Jordan pickup that I'm gonna be adding to my sneaker collection. And it's the first time that I've ever owned this colorway guys. This is the sneaker right here. These are the Air Jordan Retro 12s, dubbed as the Cherry colorway. So originally this sneaker released back in 1996 and was worn by Michael Jordan during the 1996, 1997. NBA season when he was with the Chicago Bulls, hence the color is very similar to Bulls colors, guys. But you know, if you're a Niners fan like myself, hey, you could put these and have a killer outfit. This shoe, this time around, retailed for $210, and it is pretty expensive compared to the original counterparts, guys. This sneaker actually has not made an appearance all too often. This is the third time, if I'm not mistaken, that this sneaker has released. This sneaker is an OG colorway, so it is an original color that Michael Jordan wore in this model right here, guys. The Air Jordan 12s are also a very comfortable sneaker, if I might add. But my favorite pair of the Air Jordan 12 models will probably be a toss-up between the Flu Games and the Playoff 12s. These come in third place for me, but this is a dope and very simple sneaker and colorway in my opinion. The quality on this sneaker is pretty good, but let's get a closer look and we'll go into more detail. All right, guys, so looking at the leather, you could see here on the white and red portion, and also on the midsole, it does have that nice leather quality. You also have the Jumpman, it's here embossed on the upper where you lace and tie these. You could see Right here with the infamous Jordan 12s, you have the iconic number 23, embossing that white in this rubber. See here, we have the Jordan Jumpman logo. It's kind of like a grayish with a red. And if you look closely here, you can see the Jordan tongue of the shoe. It is comprised of leather. And you have a black embroidered Jumpman. And then you have the two and the three, which are pretty much Michael Jordan's number the jordan 12 cherries come with the original white laces there are no extra laces included for this particular sneaker and colorway it's honestly i don't think you need a different color lace for this you know this shoe looks fine as is in my opinion but if you want to change them you could always swap them out with these nice oval laces here and you could also see just that leather quality right there and inside of the tongue guys you could see the tag with the Jumpman logo and the size. The bottom for the Jordan 12s have always been pretty unique to me. You can see here the traction in the black followed with that carbon fiber shank. You see that? It's pretty nice. That right there. As you work your way up, you can see right there the Jumpman in the black. And then of course the 23 in that little white area right there. Inside there you can see the Jumpman and the insole in the red that's printed along with the size sticker. Also if you look closely you can see that plastic part right here in that red. Throughout the years guys I've always noticed with the Jordan 12s as they get old unfortunately this part as it ages it can potentially crack so just be careful when wearing your Jordan 12s because this is again like I said this is plastic you know, plastic does deteriorate over time, especially if you leave your shoes unworn. So I think if you wear your shoes and break them in, the likelihood of this breaking are very low. Here is the box, just to give you guys a closer look. It does say, just do it, which is the old Nike slogan. You got the Nike swoosh logo right there that is stamped on the side. And here is the size tag of the shoe the colorway guys is white slash black dash varsity red and the top lid you can see here with that nice brown coloring with the simple swoosh logo and look at the back of the box here it says engineered and built to the exact specifications of championship athletes from around the world watch what that reads and of course the bottom of the box, you have all your Nike branding and whatnot on this shoe. Now, as far as sizing goes on the Jordan 12s, I would say go true to size. They're a very comfortable sneaker, definitely 
one of the Jordan models that I would consider hooping in. I know most Jordans are not comfortable, like Jordan 1s are definitely not comfortable, but with the 12s, I think it's one of those shoes, guys, that you can wear for long periods of time with really no issues. Um, I've never had any issues in terms of sizing for the Jordan 12s. All right, guys, and that is my quick review on the Jordan 12 Cherries, the 2023 release. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below and let me know what you guys think about this new sneaker pickup that I'm adding to my collection. Did you guys get a pair of the 12s? Did you guys pass on these? You know, I'd love to hear what you guys and gals think. I know Jordan 12s are not very popular compared to some of the other older Jordans like Jordan 1s, 3s, and 4s, the typical ones that we see. It's nice to see Jordan brand releasing Jordan 12s, especially when it's an OG colorway like this one right here. Give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell icon. That way you don't miss any type of content that I post for you guys, whether it's a sneaker pickup, a jersey pickup, a collectible, or whatever I post on the channel for y'all. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much going to do it for me in this video. And until next time, your boy Rez will catch you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.